Hey everyone, how's it going? Grizzly Bear here with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Today playing Scout on King of the Hill King, which isn't a map that I'm really too familiar with, I haven't played it a ton, and I haven't really enjoyed it a whole lot when I have played it, but I did get a pretty decent gameplay on here, so I'm going to show it to you guys. But as you can tell right now, playing Engineer, and my team is getting just completely dominated. So I switched to Engineer, and I was trying to annoy the other team with many sentries and stuff, but... As you can see, unfortunately, it did not work. But now, here we are, we're getting into the scout gameplay. I start off with the Sandman and the Flying Guillotine. And I'm not very successful with those. I thought it might be a little more entertaining for you guys if I put on an interesting loadout like that. But I switch later when things get a little bit serious. But right now, just kind of running around with the scattergun, picking off guys, trying to clear up the points so the team can hop on there and capture it. Uh, get a lucky crit right there on that soldier, and the scout right here... You can tell I want to get him pretty bad, and I, I almost get him right there, but I decided I need to stay on the point that's more important right now, and I figure he's going to come back up, and yep, there he is. So, he makes a mistake right there of running straight back at me, which is something you really don't want to do against enemies with hit scan weapons, and hit scan weapons are those weapons that when you click, it's instantly there, so weapons like the shotgun and the sniper rifle. If you run straight at your opponent while they're using one of those weapons, it's really easy to get a kill on you because they don't have to move their mouse side to side. And that's why a scout, when you backpedal, it can sometimes be really effective because if someone's trying to chase after you, they have to run in a straight line to get to you so you can just unload a couple shots into them and it's a pretty easy kill most of the time. But as you can see, that right there is where I make the switch off the Sandman and the Guillotine. I really wasn't being too effective with them and this right here is kind of my go-to scout loadout. I have the scatter gun, the mad milk, and the rap assassin. I mentioned in my first commentary that the mad milk is probably my favorite secondary for the scout. I really have a tough time against pyros, and as you can see right there, one got me. But right now I'm just kind of questioning whether I even should have switched loadouts at all. But as you can see, when I spawn back and my team hopped on the point and capture it. So right now I'm really just trying to hold off enemies, and hopefully we can catch up to them and maybe even take the lead. But right now a sniper pops out of there, I hit him in two shots, and... There's not a whole lot of sniping you can do against the scout in close range. And right now, demo man, scout, I'm outnumbered, so I just run away. That's what you want to do when you're outnumbered to scout. It's best just to cut your losses, get out of there, and check back in. You want to play more hit and run than go in and try and kill a bunch of people. And as you can see right there, I fail with the mad milk. I was trying to get a bit of health back after I had lost so much from that encounter. And unfortunately, I hit the post and I get shot in the back by a scout. But this right here is a pretty good part of the gameplay. They just capture the point, so I come up these stairs, I see this heavy, and I get the heavy, I see that sniper, I get the sniper, I hit the pyro once, I get the pyro, I see another pyro running away, I turn around this corner, and I notice there's a soldier with them, but as you can see, they're both retreating, so I shoot them in the back, and luckily they're both low on health, and I'm able to get two kills there, and as you can see, I got about five or six kills in a really quick succession, run back to the point, try and get this scout, spy almost backstabs me, I hit him with a critical shot, and then I get killed by a medic's crusader crossbow of all things but that was a pretty good play managed to take out a lot of their team clear up the point so my team could hop on there and capture it and now i'm just kind of running back trying to keep enemies off it finish up the capture there and as you can see things are getting pretty close 19 seconds left for red team if they capture it again it's pretty much over so we've got to hold this point for a minute and a half and here they all come they're all coming out they all got that respawn at the same time so i'm just trying to get as many guys as i can i get shot in the back by Huntsman Arrow. Don't even know how that happened. He wasn't even looking at me. So, who knows. But I noticed they're all hopping on the point, so I try and take this route underneath again like I did, see if I can flank them. Unfortunately, they do end up capturing the point, but I hop up here, and everything's looking pretty clear, so I just kind of stay on here, and I don't move off the point. As you can see, I get a lot of shots on this pyro. I get six shots in a row, which is pretty good, and I end up popping them over the top of that, and I'm really just trying to stay on this point right now, Tr really trying to win this game. Red team, the time has run out, so we actually end up capturing the point. So I run down here to get more health, and I run straight back because there's a guy hopping on it. So I run up here, and it turns out it's a heavy and a medic, and it, somehow I managed to kill the heavy. I get two critical hits. I have no idea why I didn't focus on the medic. I should have, but luckily things worked out. So we all hop on the point here. We're defending it, and this pyro tries coming up here. I take out the pyro, and right now things are looking pretty good. Don't see any of the red team coming up, so I just kind of run back to the point, and I end up getting shot by uh, another Huntsman Arrow. And that one was pretty ridiculous. I just ran in front of the door, and he must have just shot it right as I went by. But as you can see, we ended up winning the game, and that's what matters. So that's going to be the video. I really appreciate you guys watching, and yeah, I'll talk to you all later.
Bye.